Hi, I'm Matthew Tomkinson. I'm the head chef of the Montague Arms in Bewley in Hampshire. As the years go by, your choice in life becomes more personal and more about how you work every day. Um, and there's certain knives that suit me better. The slightly longer sort of utility knife is perfect for most of the things that I do on the day in the kitchen. Which I guess, like most chefs, you use two or three knives a day regularly. This is one of the ones that I always have on my side. A short utility knife means it's almost like a large pairing knife. You can only be really using it for peeling or trimming or whatever. The slightly longer utility knife, I use it for fish prep, I use it for butchery. It adds a lot more, and on my normal working day, it means that, that one knife hits probably 80% of the jobs that I do. Today we're doing duck. Uh, we're doing duck. Uh, we, over the years, have learned that what we want to do is, is make dishes based on the things that we get that are really good. And one of the things we get around here really good is duck. Uh, we buy a Creedy Carver duck. Um, it's the best duck breast I've ever tasted. Um, the knife's great because that's the knife we use to take them off the bone and to score the duck, which a big part of the difference between a, a great duck breast and an average duck breast is the choice of the, the, the breed, first of all, the, the duck that you've chosen, but it's also the way it's trimmed and prepared and the skin is scored. It's the same principle as preparing a chicken. Um, we're going to um, score uh, down the breastbone, so we get a nice neat cut, then we can find our place on the bird. We're then going to use the thin bladed um, utility knife to come around the carcass and then just take the actual end of the breast off so we're left with a large piece of meat intact. Um, normally then we take the legs off um, and use them for other dishes and chop up the bones ready to make the, uh, the stocks for the sauces. Um, once a duck breast has come off the bone, we flip it over, remove the fillet and any of the um, sinews and stuff where the, you know, the I think mean, it's important to remember sometimes that the, the duck has got another job to do rather than feed us, it flies. So there are bits on there that we need to trim off that are a little bit tough to eat. Um, we flip the bird back over again and then very finely score the skin so that uh, when it's in the pan, that skin can caramelise and become crispy um, and not be too fatty. We want some of that fat in there because that's the flavour. We don't want it to be too fatty. The garnish it's with is uh, with some purple sprouting broccoli and we've got some smoked bacon uh, some chicory, which has been lightly sautéed, and some sweet shallots. Um, the dish is served with a, a lightly peppered jus, uh, a sauce of the base that once upon a time would have been called a grand veneur, but it's not quite as rich. Um, our sauces these days tend to be a little bit lighter. We want the duck and the vegetables to do the talking. Uh, and then on that plate we've got a little bit of pickled red cabbage, um, just to bring a little bit of acidity to it so it's not too rich. Uh, I was uh, working at Ockenham Manor and Martin Haddon uh, works for the same company. I'd never heard of the scholarship before. Um, I'd not been to college and I, I'd never competed. It's not why I became a cook. Uh, Martin suggested that I should enter uh, in 2004 and I thought he was mad. He, at the time he had to write a little uh, letter to the ruse just, just to explain that I was going to do all right and I wasn't going to sort of waste an opportunity if I was given a chance to enter. Uh, and I did and I've never looked back. Um, the first year I, I got through to the national finals and I only entered again because I enjoyed it so much. The first year was a pleasure. I loved it. So I entered again, obviously hoping to win, but not really thinking about the possibility of winning and managed to. So uh, yeah, you know, unbelievable experience. It's great fun. You know, it's easy to look upon these things as being sort of uh, terrifying endurance events, but and they can be in the wrong hands, I think, but um, it's not, it, it's competitive. But I think the competitiveness is against yourself. It's not a case of you're better than him, he's better than you, you're not as good, it's not about that. It's about being the best you can be. And I, it sounds cliche, but I think the scholarship really does um, embody that. Um, both the years that I entered the scholarship, the regional dishes, one year was a shoulder of lamb and one year was a whole cooked crab. I'd never prepared a shoulder of lamb and I'd never prepared a crab when I came to do those dishes. So first of all, I learnt two important skills in the kitchen from doing it. There's a few dishes that my girlfriend loves and funnily enough, the garnish that we're, we're doing today on the duck dish, um, I've cooked at home a couple of times with fish, with either cod um, and we've had it with sea bass and she's loved that and it's uh, without any carb and potato on the plate it's quite a light dish which I think my girlfriend prefers so we probably have that as a main course 
and uh, something she loves uh, goat's cheese or something like that for starter or maybe a risotto or something and then chocolate for pudding it's always got to be chocolate for pudding